let's do place value hi this is miss hit and ran and i really hope that you're all doing okay i love making videos on different educational concepts and different activities that can actually benefit you today we are going to talk about place value your ones your tens and your hundreds so if you really want to know more about it watch the video till the end what do you mean by place value well it's the position of the numbers in a sequence uh, in math every digit in a number has a place value it can be the value the number holds on the basis of the position for example uh, suppose i give you a number 352 the 5 is in the tens place so its place value is 10 let's just get to know what is ones tens and hundreds one cube represents ones it is single can you see this cube 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these are nine separate different cubes all are single so one cube represents one we can also say it like this now let's count and tell me how many ones are there in zero how many ones are there in zero zero and how many ones are there in one one how many ones are there in two two ones this is three ones four ones five ones six ones seven ones eight ones nine ones now when i say 10 is it all alone or with a partner yes it's with a partner so the single numbers which we have are from 0 to 9 these numbers are called ones now what are tens tens are a stack of 10 cubes together You can also say a group of 10 cubes bundled up together is 1 10. Look at this stack. How many tens are there? 1 10. 1 means number 10. Now, let's look at all the tens. How many tens are there in 1 10? Yes, only one bar of ten cubes together bundled up makes one ten. Now let's see how many tens are there in twenty. In twenty, there are two tens. One stack, two stacks, two stacks, or two tens make twenty. Now let's see how many tens are there in three tens. Thirty makes three tens. So how many stacks should be there? Three. Yes. One, two, three. So three stacks of tens make thirty or three tens. Now, forty makes how many tens? Four tens. Yes, four different stacks together makes forty, or forty is equals four tens. Now, fifty equals how many tens? Five tens. How many stacks are there? One, two, three, four, five. So five stacks is also fifty. or we can say 5 tens now let's see 60 equals 6 tens so 6 tens should have 6 stacks yes let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we can also say it like this 10 20 30 40 50 60 60 makes 6 tens 
Now, 70 makes how many tens? Yes, 7, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 80 makes 8 tens. We are going to have 8 stacks of tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 stacks makes 80 or 8 tens. 90 equals 9 tens. So, we should be having 9 stacks. Now, what are hundreds? Now, when the 10 stacks of 10 are bundled up together, it will make a hundred. Let's count. One, this is one stack, two stack, three stack, four stack, five stack, six stack, seven stack, eight stack, nine stack, and ten stacks. Ten stacks all bundled up together makes a hundred. Let's count the hundreds. A hundred equals one hundred. It has ten stacks of cubes bundled up together that makes hundred. Hundred cubes make one hundred. Two hundred equals two hundred. So we have two stacks of one one hundred. 300 equals 300. So you will have three stacks of 100, 100, 100, three times. 400 equals 400. How many stacks do you think 500 would have? Yes, five stacks of 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 makes 500. 600 will have six stacks of hundreds. 700 will have 7 stacks of hundreds. 800 will have 800 stacks of hundred. 900 will have 900 stacks of hundreds all bundled up together. Now let's see how we are going to write our hundred tens and ones. How many cubes can you see that are single? One, two, three, four. So what are we going to write? Four. But how many tens do you see? Are you going to count like this? One, two, three, four, five. No, you're going to count it like a bundle. One ten, two ten, three tens. So how many tens do you see? Three tens. Three tens also means 30. Now when you're going to count it separately, it is going to make 30. Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 30 can also mean three tens, like if you're going to group them together. Let's see another one. How many ones do you see? One, two, three. So we're going to write three ones. Now how many tens do you see? One ten, two ten. So we are going to write two over here. Or we can say 20, but we are not going to write 20 over here. This is just to tell you what it makes, okay? but. We are going to write two only over here. Now, how many hundreds do you see over here? One stack of hundred. So, we are only going to write one, but it means that it has 100 cubes inside. You are not going to write 100 under hundreds like this with zeros. You are only going to write one like this. This is just for you so that I can explain it to you. All right, now, how many cubes do you see? One, two, so I'm gonna write two over here. 
But how many tens do you see? One ten, two ten, three ten. So I'm only going to write three over here, but I'm not going to write zero over here. Zero over here is just for you, for me to explain it to you that th three tens means thirty cubes inside. All right. Now, how many hundreds do you see? One big stack of one hundred, and the second big stack of one hundred makes two hundred. You're not going to write two hundred, but it means that it has two hundred cubes inside. You're going to only going to write two over here. Let's practice with tens and ones. This is ones and this is tens. Let's read the number. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. How many ones do you see under ones? Four. And how many tens do you see under tens? Two, so two tens and four ones makes twenty-four. Let's do some more practice. What's the number? Twelve. Twelve has twelve has how many tens? Twelve has one ten, one ten, and how many ones? Two ones. So one tens and two ones makes twelve. Let's do another one. What's the number? Forty-five. Forty-five means how many tens are there? Four. Four tens, and how many ones? Five ones makes forty-five. We can also like write it like this. It means four tens has forty plus. Five ones equals forty-five. Let's do another one now with a hundred. This H represents hundred. This T represents tens, and this zero represents ones. What's the number? Three hundred forty-six. So how many hundreds are there? Three, three hundred. How many tens? Four tens. And how many ones? Six ones make three hundred and forty-six. Let's move on to the next number, five hundred and forty-two. Five hundred and forty-two has five hundred, four tens, and two ones. Thank you for watching the video till the end and hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also do drop in your comments on any particular videos you want me to make a video on. Till then, bye.